Hey there, friends. Uh, welcome. I'm making a vlog. Happy New Year to you all. I hope that it's been a good start to the year. Thank you to everyone that watched Vlogmas. I had a good time filming it and I'm, I'm glad that a lot of you enjoyed it. I have also definitely enjoyed not doing it. <laughs> But I'm back, I'm back, okay? I was maybe trying to post like sooner within the new year. I know uh, it's been like at least a week, but I was busy, okay? Let, let me tell you, I have big family. I have big family on both sides of my divorced parents, right? I, I had to go to six different Christmas events within the last week of December, you know? They were fun. Don't get me wrong, I love Christmas. It was great. But then I got sick for a while, at least a week, right after Christmas. I was very um, snotty, so much snot. Sorry if that's gross. Anyway, but also me and my boyfriend celebrated our seven year anniversary and I've just been busy. But now I want to get back in to the work zone now that i've finished celebrating all of my holidays my anniversary and i was sick now i am recovering from being sick i need to get back to work okay because i've been doing a lot of nothing i did a lot of things and then i did a lot of nothing and now we need to get back to filming and crocheting and just everything business as usual okay we got to get back to it Let's get back to it, starting with this vlog. Right now, I am sitting on my desk and I am scrolling the Joann's website. <laughs> They're having a sale right now, okay? And I am just adding to cart, adding to cart, adding to cart. I, I'm, I'm gonna spend like $200 or something probably. Most of this yarn I, I don't, I don't need. But some of it I do need, okay? I need to restock some of my Lily Sugar and Cream. I need more jewels because I only have two of those left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy six of them. I need more strawberry. Whoa, why is the quantity 73? Why, why would the quantity automatically be 73? What? If you buy 72 of them, they're, then they're only 252 a piece. And I, I guess, bulk savings. I mean, let's be real, if I bought 72 of them, I'd use them over time, but I don't, I don't need to buy 72 right now, okay? I am buying three more colors of the brand new Red Heart Granny All-in-One Square yarn because uh, I'm obsessed, I guess. I am buying medium weight acrylic party yarn by Big Twist just because the color on this looks so nice. I'm getting bubblegum color. It reminds me of this yarn that I have, which is Crafter's Secret Cotton. And that's because like, it's, uh, I mean, obviously yarn is like usually three or four strands twisted together. And normally all of the strands are the same color, but sometimes on some yarns, those three or four strands are all different colors and it makes it look like this. And I love that. That's why I've been buying this cotton because I love it and I use this to make tops. They, ha they only have a few colors that do this. I just, I don't know. I love how it mixes the colors. It's such like a perfect way. And I love how you can like see the little different colored strands all twisted together anyway. So I found some that looks like this, but it's acrylic yarn instead of cotton, so I can use it to make hats and whatnot. And then I just have six jewels, Lily Sugar and Cream, and then I'm getting three strawberry Lily Sugar and Cream. So let's see how expensive this is. Currently it's $128, but I'm going to try all of my coupon codes. So we'll see what it is after that. And it's all on sale right now. So the, Red Heart yarn that I'm buying is usually 
$49 and they're on sale for $7.12. And then the Big Twist yarn that I'm buying is usually $6.99. It's on sale for $3.99, so that's good. Lily Sugar and Cream is usually $6.99 and that's on sale for $3.37, so fantastic. Okay, so they have $10 off when you spend $75 or more. So I'm getting $10 off and the shipping is free. So we're at $115 instead of $128, which I mean, you know, I'll, I'll always take like as much as I can get off. So great, fantastic. I'm wondering if I should buy more of this acrylic party yarn from Big Twist, but no, I'm just, let's just check out, okay? I really should probably buy more Lily Sugar and Cream while it's on such a great sale, but I guess I won't. Order placed. Can it be here right now? That's my first yarn order of the year. This year I've been doing um, some things. I got some orders, made some tops, probably only like two or three, right? Okay. I made some hats some knit beanies. Here they are. These are really similar to the ones that I made during Vlogmas. I've just double stranding yarn and knitting a folded brim hat. This is Red Heart Retro Stripes. The like rainbow yarn that was like super popular and like two years ago, two or three years ago, four years ago. Anyway, I double stranded it and I think it looks so good. This one is already sold, but they ordered a top to go with it, so I need to make their top. So it's just, it's waiting for its sister to be packaged up. And then I made this one. This is also the Red Heart Retro Stripes Double Stranded. It just ended up looking a little bit different, but still nice. This one is still available on my website. I'm actually going to be filming a video tutorial on how to make these hats very soon. That should be posted on Friday, maybe, since some people asked for it and I'm excited. Another thing that I started doing this year was I started a new cross-stitching project. Here it is. This is my third cross-stitching project I've ever done. The first two were very small. There's, there's one. That was my first one ever. It's a little cat. My second one was also a tiny hoop like that and it was like some flowers and then words. But both of those were like, I had a grid with a bunch of symbols and I just stitched on the plain white fabric. This one is a tiny bit different because this is a, I guess it's a printed cross stitching kit. So all of these crazy colors are printed on the cross stitching fabric and then the colors correspond with the thread colors. So like, you know, most of them are pinks because as you saw in the photo, it's a pink dahlia. So it's like this bright blue corresponds to like this medium pink or something like that. So you just like stitch over it. I've been working on it a little bit here and there. I was like, I'm gonna do just like one hour a day, but I haven't been doing that. Cause whenever I start doing it, I always, I try to finish the full color of like like the full strand of thread that's on that I put on the needle at a time and uh, that usually takes me more than an hour unfortunately cross stitching takes forever like out of all my hobbies crochet is the fastest knitting is the second fastest and then cross stitching is like three four or five times slower than both of those and it's I don't I like it though anyway I've started I finished the stem which is all this this green portion right here so there's that and then i've just started filling in these i don't know if you can tell the difference uh it's the yellow so all of these these patches the color that i'm going over it with is like a very light light pink but you know it was it's the yellow parts and there, uh, it's, it's on the ends of all the flower petals, but I started here, so I'm working my way around doing the yellow portions. And <laughs> I think this is gonna take me forever. Oh my gosh, wow. I just realized how crazy I am because I started this and I was like, I should make this for 
one of the birthdays that I have coming up, right? Because my mom's birthday is very soon and my grandma's birthday is also very soon. So I was thinking, I was like, maybe I could finish this and give it to one of them. You wanna know how soon the, their birthdays are? My mom's birthday is next week. I started this after Christmas and I was like, <laughs> yeah, I could definitely finish this by the second week of January. No, no. If it was a knitting project or a crochet project, yes, but no. This is cross-stitching. I need to remind myself that this is cross-stitching. And then my grandma's birthday is on Valentine's Day. So like one more month? No, this will not be finished. Maybe I can finish it this year by Christmas for a present for somebody. Or maybe I should keep it myself. I don't know. I gave my mom my second cross-stitching project, which was the flowers. And then in the middle it says, I can't adult today. I kept my first one because I want to keep that. It was, my, it was my first one ever, so it's hanging up right there. But this one is my third. I would like to gift it to somebody. I bought it because I really wanted to try out the printed stuff. I was thinking that maybe it would go faster since I can just look at it while I'm stitching and just go, go, go. Because on the other one, you know, I have to go like row by row and count and make sure and like I use a highlighter and like mark out the ones that I'm doing on my printed symbol grid and then I go back and forth. Anyway, I thought this was gonna be faster. I guess it is faster, but it's not like, not finish in one month faster, okay? So that's gonna be something that I work on periodically throughout the year, I think. I need, I need, a, I need a project, I need something. Let me, let me just start this top order while I'm talking to you because I don't know why I'm just talking and not working. I think that this year my goals are are pretty much the same as last year. I have generally the same goals every time the new year rolls around. I never really make any resolutions or try to do anything crazy. I would like to make a lot of stock for my website, which is a goal that I have pretty much all the time. I would like to make a wider variety of things. My main focus first and foremost is tops because that those are my best sellers. I sell a lot of tops, that's a lot of my advertising. You know, I, I make tops, I'm the top girl, you know? Not like the top like, but like, you know, like top. I, most people know me for my tops and if they're going to shop on my website, they're most likely looking for a top. So my first main goal would be probably to like get a really good stock of tops on the website so that I have the freedom and opportunity to make other things for the website such as hats and scarves and sweaters maybe because I, I don't have any more sweaters on my website or cardigans or anything like that because I sold them. I had two on there. I had the two Christmas sweaters that I made like three years ago and I sold them on Black Friday. So now I, I'm completely out of sweaters and cardigans. So I would like to make some more of those. And then I want to make scrunchies because surprisingly I actually sold quite a bit of scrunchies towards the end of 2023. And I think I'll just make some every day whenever I have free time because the scrunchie is quite easy. It's, it's pretty quick, you know? So I think I'll just make one throw it in my, my scrunchy basket and kind of just build that up over time. It's always good to have small things stocked because not everyone has like 50 plus dollars to drop on your website, you know? So I want to have smaller things like my beanies, bucket hats, bandanas, scrunchies, just like small things that cost $30 or less, you know? And I want to have those like in the rotation as well. I just made a bunch of bandanas and that was fun. I like just made seven of them because we just went shopping because I got a yarn store gift card for Christmas. So I just went shopping and I bought yarn specifically to make bandanas and then I came home and I made the bandanas. So like bought the yarn, used the yarn immediately. That is always such a good feeling because most of the time I just buy the yarn and then it goes into my room and it falls into the abyss and then it's never to be seen again for months and months until I pull it out randomly and I'm like, what did I buy this for? I bought the yarn and then I made seven bandanas with it immediately and then I took pictures of them and I put them on my website already. So 
go me. One big goal, obviously, would be to use up some of my yarn stash. That would be great. I say that all the time. Uh, that's, that's pretty much always something that I would like to do, but um, I feel like it's a never-ending cycle. I felt really good whenever I was making these hats because I've had this yarn, this Retro Stripes yarn, has been sitting behind me right here in this cubby. I still have four of them over there, which I should use to make more beanies, but I used up two of them, three of them, I don't know. I used uh, I used them and then this cubby was getting like half empty so I put more yarn in there and I was like mm, I'm actually using and rotating yarn so that's great I need to do that so yeah I'm gonna try to make more beanies for sure but also I just I want to make more tops with all the yarn that I have that's not on my shelves, right? So recently in my vlogs, we tried to reorganize my Lily Sugar and Cream shelves over here and I tried to fill them up to the brim, but I still have two full overflowing shipping boxes from Joanne that are just full of cotton, like straight up Lily Sugar and Cream, a little bit of peaches and cream, a little bit of the yarn that I just sewed you earlier, which was Crafter's Secret Cotton. And all of that I have purchased to make tops with. So I want to go through them and just try to use all of these colors to make tops and put them up for sale on my website. So that is gonna be something that I will attempt to do throughout the year, get them off the floor and into my closet and hopefully sold into somebody's home, you know? And then lastly, one of the goals that I always have is to write more patterns because pattern sales are a big part of my business. It's something that keeps me afloat and pattern sales are, are really great. I did write a few new patterns last year. The sneak peek top I released in March, 2023. That was, that was a, a huge part of 2023. So that was kind of crazy. The River Dahlia top was released on August 25th, 2023, so that was out on my birthday. And then I th I don't think I wrote any other patterns last year. So yeah, we just had the two top patterns last year. Not bad. I want to focus on writing the patterns that I have already made technically. So I have a lot of patterns that I make and I have kind of like pattern notes that I've written for myself, but I don't have an officially like written pattern PDF with all the thorough instructions and photographs. So I want to do that. I think I'm gonna be starting with the bandana top, which I have the tutorial for on my YouTube. I just don't have a written pattern for it, you know? So I think I'm gonna try to write that pattern first. I think I would like to release a written pattern for my rainbow like spiral bucket hat that I also have a tutorial for on the YouTube channel here. Basically, I would like to like officially release the written patterns for a few of my older designs so that I can feel free and open to designing new patterns, if that makes sense. Another goal that I have made for myself that is actually new to 2024 is to post a lot more on YouTube. So I am going to be attempting to post at the very least once a week because I've been doing that, okay? I've been doing that for the past, I don't know, two months or something and I've been keeping up with it. So I was like, wow, good job me. That's great. Um, I haven't always done that since I started my YouTube channel. It was kind of sporadic. But I want to keep up with it, you know? I want to I wanna push myself, make content for you guys, and, and do good. Also, I think that maybe sometimes filming myself keeps me a little bit more accountable, maybe? I realized that while I was doing Vlogmas, vlogging every day. I felt like I had to do something every day. I had to do something that was important. So, I'm just, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it up. And hopefully you guys will keep watching and keep enjoying. And I appreciate you and thank you and I love you and and, and, and thank you and I, I love you and, and... <sighs> So, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's not a lot. It's nothing like new, nothing crazy, but 
basically I just, I wanna keep working. I wanna keep working and do even better this year, you know? 2023 was a fantastic year for me, but I just, I wanna make 2024 at least the same and hopefully even better. So I hope the same for all of you, truly. I hope that your 2024 is better than your 2023. I hope you guys have a great year. And uh, I mean, if you wanna share any of your New Year's resolutions, if you've made any, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I would love to read, start a conversation, you know, maybe you guys can talk to each other as well. Mainly we're gonna have fun here, okay? So I want you to join me while we have fun for 2024. Well, actually, we're gonna start having fun after I do my taxes. <laughs> taxes are hard. Currently, this is the only order that I have. I've been getting kind of like sporadic orders here and there, just usually for like tops and ear warmer, small stuff after Christmas. So I've just been getting them done as they come in, which is great. And then I've also been working on stock which is also great. All of the Christmas presents that I made over Vlogmas went over really, really well with whoever I had made them for. Everyone loved and appreciated their handmade gifts from me this year. It felt really good. It is fun to see my family like get excited whenever they receive a gift from me. And then, you know, they'll like post pictures in it and they'll wear it out and about and stuff like that. And it's just fun. It's just really fun. I'm happy, they're happy, we're all happy. It is only 1.30 today. Hopefully I can finish this. I don't, I'm not sure if I can finish it today. I have some things to do. I gotta go to my grandma's birthday party tonight. She's turning 70, so. Not the grandma that you guys have met and that I baked with. This is my other grandma. We're gonna have a little party. Maybe I can bring my yarn to the party. You guys do that? Is that appropriate? I, I I don't know. I feel like bringing yarn to a a 70 year old's birthday party is is not weird. <laughs> My family would not at all be surprised. So this is a ruffle top though, so like that's why I'm not entirely sure if I will finish it or not. The cups, the top part, is really quick, but like making all the ruffles. Since you have to do so many stitches to create the actual like ruffly effect, it takes quite a bit longer, so hopefully I'll finish it, but you know, it's not a guarantee. It could happen, could not. Same day, different shirt. This is how much I've gotten done on our little ruffle top. I've just started the ruffles, okay? I'm waiting for my family to come get me, to take me to this birthday party. I'm trying to decide if I wanna bring my project. I want to bring it. But at the same time, the most I would be able to work on it would be in the car, right? But the thing is, I have to sit in the back seat of the car with my brother and sister. So one of them's gonna have to be in the middle. We're gonna be squished. We're gonna be squished. And I don't, I don't know if I can crochet while being squished. So maybe I'll just crochet me a little hard way until they get here and then I'll continue working on it when we get back. I finished uh, the whole skein. I finished the whole skein, so here's what it looks like. I'm three rows in on the ruffles out of eight rows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm about to tie on my new skein. My family is on the way to get me, so I need to put my shoes on. And I think maybe I won't bring this. I feel like I've gotten far enough into it that I don't need to bring it because I, I feel like I could just finish it when I get home later, so. It's party time. Do you wanna be in my YouTube video? Oh, that's what this is? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. You don't wanna be in my YouTube video? No. No, no, I just got home. Apparently my family Party's hard for um, my grandma's 70th birthday. I'm just kidding, it's 10 o'clock. We were definitely gone for longer than I thought we were gonna be. So I don't think I'm gonna be finishing this ruffle top tonight. It's, it's possible, depending on how late I stay up. We had tacos and they were delicious. And then we played a game. 
I've seen this game on TikTok and it's, uh, I think it's called like red herring or something. And basically it's like you have fish <laughs> and um, everyone's fish are red except for one which is blue and there's one person that is like it that round and they're holding up a question it's kind of like a, a random trivia question most of them are like silly or you wouldn't really expect the answers you know and then on the back it has the answer so they see the question and then everyone else all the people that have the fish see the answer right okay so the premise is like all the people that have red fish are supposed to make up an answer to the question and whoever has the blue fish is supposed to say the actual answer to the question that's on the back of the card right and then once you go through all of that the question reader is supposed to pick out who is lying in the group and then who is telling the truth so yeah it was interesting it was fun i th i think for sure my little sister won which was funny because she's 12 but i am just totally so bad at lying i don't think that i'm bad at lying maybe i think that i am bad at coming up with the answer like coming up with the lie like maybe if i had a card that like told me an answer that i had to like convince someone was right i think i would be a lot better at that than having to make up my own lie answer so I, that was the hard part for me you know, like if you get the blue fish, like you just have to read what's on the card, easy peasy. But if you get a red fish, you have to make up an answer that goes along with the trivia question. That's hard. I am not very good at improv. Uh, my imagination is reserved for crochet designs, nothing else. I, I really, I can't, I can't do anything else. <laughs> now that we're home, I think we're just gonna hang out, you know, watch, watch some TV, and I'll be working on this until I go to bed. And people all over the world consume energy. I like the sound of that. I'm out. I have found a way to effectively turn semen into electricity. I'm back in. I know that this sounds <laughs> outrageous. I mean, scientifically, how is it possible? Well, let me just tell you. Dude, we can just do shit like this. Do you guys want to watch us taste 35 different cheesecake flavors? Do 35? We could do 34. Are you crazy? We don't even have a cheesecake factory here. Guys, check it. Our ruffle top is finished. Hey, okay, so it's the next day. As you saw, I finished this strawberry ruffle top that we were working on yesterday. All I need to do is weave in this end, which I'm going to do right now. Last night, after I finished it, we watched the new episode of Shangri-La Frontier and then I just went straight to bed and passed out because I was so, so tired. It's like all gloomy and rainy outside today, cold. Tomorrow it's supposed to snow. It's January 8th and we've had like one snow, but it didn't stick to the ground whatsoever. It was just melting right away. But apparently we're supposed to have a snow tomorrow that might stick around but I think it'll be gone like really quick. I don't know. I'm just glad that I don't have to leave my house later. I need to go and drop off this package because I have this package and then I have like three other packages that I need to go out. I just want to make sure I take them tonight before it starts snowing tomorrow. What? What? <laughs> Who's out there? Nudgy, chill out, man. I'm trying to work here. Okay, ends are weaved. This top goes with this hat. So, we're gonna pack up this order real quick. You're like such a drama queen, you know that? Nine point seven ounces. I am now order free, so I can do anything I want. I'm going to make. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna knit some hats. Some. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna knit one for sure.
anyway, I am going to be filming this hat for a tutorial. So I'm going to go film the beginning of the tutorial. <laughs> You're too much. You're being way too much right now, okay? I understand. I understand. There's there's people outside, and that is a really concerning problem. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. But they're nice. They're nice people. Okay? All right. Is that enough? I have to work. Mm. <laughs> you crazy. Get off of me. Get off. Get off. <laughs> no, really, get off. I need to move my massive amounts of granny squares off of my tutorial filming desk. I should make something with those. Oh, man. I just filmed, like, the intro, the beginning of this tutorial for this hat. I feel like I did a terrible job. This is the first time I'm ever recording a tutorial for knitting. Every time I was talking about in the beginning, like what you needed for the tutorial, every time the knitting needles came up, I just felt an intense urge to say crochet hook instead of needles. This is why I don't make knitting tutorials because I do not feel confident enough to teach. I feel confident enough to make things and sell things. And I know that my knitting is very good, but can I teach? I guess I'll just, I'll fix it while I'm editing. Ah. Are you guys okay? I have just finished filming the tutorial for this hat. Ta -da. I, I think the tutorial might have gone better towards the end. I, while I was knitting the hat, I was like thinking about how I was going to do the end of the tutorial. I should have prepped the beginning. I just, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about it. It's getting, later i mean it's only 4 23 but i have things to do we got to go drop off packages we got to go to the pharmacy we gotta we got we got some things i started filming to say something and i forgot what it was this is cute though i hope that there's enough yarn left in the other ones to make to make another hat hmm hmm I now have to leave this hat on forever because I have bangs. No, just kidding, you wanna see? <laughs> All right, so I combed my hair. <laughs> Caesar's coming to get me. We're gonna go get some food. We're gonna drop off my packages. That's the plan. I feel good, I feel good. I feel good about the start of the year. I feel like I'm doing well with my goals. I just posted a YouTube video today, which was Monday, the Granny Square video, and people are really liking it, so I'm happy about that. I just filmed another video, and I'm filming this video, so I'm, I feel like I'm on track. Goals are good, and I just made a hat that I can take photos of and put up for stock, and I wanna make another hat today, probably. I think, it's good as far as like goals a lot of people like especially on the topic of like temperature blankets they're like oh, i'm already so behind but we're only eight days into the year this it's still very fresh you know like if you have goals just because you didn't start it at the beginning of the year on day one doesn't mean that you can't start now okay because i was sick for like a week but now i'm like we're doing it we're getting in the groove let's go I should shut up. I got, I got things, we got things to do, okay. So, we like to uh, tell each other things about our lives, I guess. Okay. It's not, oh, there we go. I don't know what she's expecting. I'm not a cameraman. Hey, we're talking, we're saying nice things about you. It's so cold out there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you were just laughing. I'm getting, I'm getting this. He's making fun of me because I have bad social skills. 
I'm home. Mm -hmm. Now that we're back, I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night doing like computer work. And honestly, I'm probably gonna start another hat just so I can make two of them because I have this much yarn left. That'll definitely be enough for another hat so that whenever I take the pictures and put it as a listing on my website, I can put that I have two in stock instead of just the one. But you know, yeah, that is where I'm gonna end today's vlog. Well, I guess it was two, this, this is where I'm gonna end this vlog, not today's vlog. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I know a lot of people liked Vlogmas, so I told myself that I would continue making vlogs, and I I am. We're here. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, why not? There's a button. Why don't? And I will see you around. Bye.